the animation industry that you would tell and you could know what's going on there. So we'll start getting into financing those things I and mean, what's going on with those ones. So I'll start getting now into the easiest part, which is the curves. So right here, what we have, it is that, uh, first of all, the one that it's on the ground right there, it has to be flat. So it slows out and slows in right here. And uh, these ones that are flat like that, I'll just make it continuous with that icon right here. So it just keeps on going, it never, it never stops. This one I'll do the same, these ones are quick changes. And now we can see if I go and create that cycle, uh, I create both the uh, post and also the pre-cycle. So now we can see how things are being uh, connected right here. So this is how, why this is so useful. If I go and play with this one like that, now I can see how that's gonna hook up. And if I go back to frame number one, uh, sorry, frame number zero right here, I, ju I just played by visually just trying to connect that into the same curve that I have right here. So this is why this is so useful. So that was the, uh, the middle section of the tail. I work on this one also just to get it more like that. And again, we're financing, but we're, we're, we're not really close to the final just yet. So I'll grab the last piece of the tail, the top piece, and do the same thing. Just grab these ones, click on the continuous button here, uh, do the same right there, and then grab the whole curve right here, and then do the cycle, pre-cycle, post-cycle right there. So now I can see what's going on before and after. So I'll just go and, and do that. Go to the uh, first frame. Try to hook it up. Like this one, this one seems to be fine. I'm just gonna modify the last one. So it hooks up nicely. Just trying to see that it has a nice flow right there. So something like that would work for now. And let's see how it looks. Just a small changes on the animation curve. So something like that, it actually works pretty pretty well. Um, the main change for those ones, it is that uh, it is having that slow in, slow out. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, you, you could say that, that this is working. Uh, but again, if we look at from an animation point of view, especially classical animation or uh, animators that they really know what they're doing, this is actually still uh, getting to be uh, very... Uh, computer-like or computer-esque or electronic because it's so um, smooth and there's things that we need to apply to this one so I'll save the scene right here and I'll start going frame by frame so one of the things that is happening here is that uh, there's no there's no delay for the uh, uh, change of a shape uh, and then I, we'll start getting into a little bit of a line of action here so what's happening here, it is that we have a line of action right there. This is, let's say that that's a C shape. It is the letter C, as, as you can see that right there. So this is a C shape line of action. Going forward, this is gonna change on frame uh, 12. So this is the reversed C shape for that same line of action. And then somewhere in frame six, we need to have what we call the S curve. And I'll do that with red color. So we need to have something like this, like that. So as you can see, the computer is not really giving us that S shape for the line of action. So every time we have a change of direction, we can use this principle to find where that is where that S shape is, and I'll give you a, a breakdown here. So if we have a C shape right there, and we wanna go from that shape into this one now, which is a reverse shape, somewhere in the middle, we need to have that S shape. It can be shaped like this one, like an S, or we, it, can, it can be a reversed uh, S, meaning something like a Z, but it's more like an S right there, it's just uh, flipped horizontally 